Hello everyone, I'm Judy Keen, and welcome to Catholic Current. Cardinal Daniel Gennardo, USCCB President, along with Bishop Joe Vasquez, Chairman of the Committee on Migration, have expressed deep sadness at the death of a father and his 23-month-old daughter, who died on Monday after drowning in the Rio Grande River. In a statement, Cardinal Donardo and Bishop Vasquez said, the image silences politics and shows the daily plight of our brothers and sisters. Not only does their cry reach heaven, it reaches us, and it must now reach our federal government. The statement goes on to say, recent reports of overcrowded and unsanitary conditions are appalling and unacceptable for any person in U.S. custody, but particularly for children who are uniquely vulnerable. Such conditions cannot be used as tools of deterrence. We can and must remain a country that provides refuge for children and families fleeing violence, persecution, and acute poverty. In other news, three USCCB subcommittees have awarded more than $10 million through 471 grants to support pastoral work in Central and Eastern Europe, Latin America, the Caribbean, and Africa. Diverse projects across these continents include pastoral center construction, catechesis, family ministry, and lay leadership training. Grants are funded by the generosity of Catholics in three different annual collections taken in many dioceses across the U.S. And the chairman of the Bishop's International Justice and Peace Committee has called for de-escalation of conflict with Iran in a June 18th letter to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Archbishop Timothy Broglio reiterated support for the P5 plus one agreement with Iran. The Archbishop stated that the U.S. unilateral withdrawal from that agreement and imposition of added economic sanctions has increased tensions with close allies and other world powers. He went on to express hope that the United States will initiate sustained dialogue with allies, world powers, and Iran in order to de-escalate the current situation. And that wraps up today's Catholic Current. We hope you have a blessed day.